Hi there. So in my roll along workouts, I talk technique quite a lot. I do talk about other stuff like dinner plans, Van Halen, Dead Mouse, all this kind of stuff, but I do talk technique quite a lot. And what that means is that I'm really lucky that people will send me videos of them rowing and ask me to look at their technique and I can comment on it and kind of say, this is what I do in order to get better. If you want to do the same, send me an email to info at rowalong.com, but that's not what this is about. What I see most often is hip rock problems and kind of posture problems, whether that's at the front of the machine or the back of the machine. And most of the time, me included, this gets addressed at the front of the machine where people talk about you need to be in a forwards rock at the front and shins vertical and arms straight, blah, blah, blah. But the truth is, the best place to address this is actually at the back of the machine, okay? If you're the kind of person that just can't get it, right? You're just kind of like, I just don't understand. I can't get my body into the right positions. Start at the back of the machine and work from there. Because if you come into the front of the machine and pick up the handle and start rowing, if you have a collapsed rolled posture, all that's gonna happen as you get into the front is you're already in that collapsed rolled posture and it's all downhill from there. So this is what I want you to do. I'm gonna make this as quick as possible. I've already done one take of this and I just went on and on and on and I'm just, I'm just doing a retake because I'm gonna try and do this quick. Here's what to do. So grab onto the handle, but don't worry about it right now. I want you to sit at the back uh, with legs straight. Don't lock them, but just keep them straight. And then sit there and think, right, what's my posture like? But I want you to imagine you've just been shouted at for sitting poorly, let's say, at the dinner table, okay? Maybe this has happened to you before, maybe you've seen it in a film, but hopefully you know what I'm on about. That someone just said, John, sit up straight. So I'm sitting here and go, oh, sorry, sorry, I'll sit up straight. And that is really all it takes to get from that rolled slumped posture into a better, powerful, primed posture at the back. So you sit at the back, sit up straight, John, Ooh, okay? Then get your handle and hold it out in front of you. Okay, nice and relaxed, like a zombie, because you never see a tent zombie. So just out in front of you, arms relaxed, shoulders out of your ears, and then you're sitting up straight at the table, and your arms are straight in, the, uh, in front of you, and then rock forwards over your hips. Because the truth is, if you're in this kind of sitting up straight at the dinner table at the back, it's really hard to round your lower back to get into that forward, forward tilt. I suppose I could kind of go into a turtle and kind of do this or something. But if you're at the back sitting up at the dinner table, the only really way you can, real way you can get from a backwards uh, lean to a forwards lean is to tilt over your hips, okay? I'm sure, I'm sure you can prove me wrong, please don't. Uh, but you're just hinging forwards. And that's it, that's what you need to learn. So you're at the back of the stroke, just sitting there going, oh, can I have some dinner, please? Only if you sit straight at the table, oh, okay. Okay, and then arms straight, tilt forwards over the hips. And that's you in the perfect position. And this is what you want to do when you're rowing all the time is to be arms straight, tilted forwards over your hips before your knees bend. And then you bend your knees, you stay in that position to roll into the front and then you push out with the legs, holding that position, swing your back and pull into a finish. And so it's, everything starts from the back because if you are kind of still rolling forwards and you're still leaning backwards and everything's wrong, uh, it's just all going to fall apart. Whereas if you're at the back of the stroke, and you sit up straight at the dinner table, hands straight out in front of you, tilt forwards, you are now primed in the right position. And then it all comes down to how you add this into the row, okay? I'll talk about the front of the row in a second, but um, how you then incorporate this. And so what you do is you just slow down. There is a thing called a pause drill, which you can use, but you have to take it slowly. So get to the back, you pull in and you go, right, am I slouching? Do I have that rounded lower back? Which I've just kind of gone into, in which case sit up at the dinner table. Don't lean back too far, it's too far. Uh, but sit up straight at the dinner table, hands away, rock forwards into the front and then get to the back. My, yeah, I think I'm, I can really only tilt over my, head, my hips, hands straight, tilt forwards and then bend knees to get into the front again. And what I'd say is if you are struggling with what to do at the back and this is new information to you, that's amazing because if you don't know how to do something, you have to learn how to do something, all right? You don't just get into a car when you're learning to drive and go, I know exactly what to do. You learn how to drive because it's an unfamiliar thing for you to do. It's the same, right now I'm learning how to kayak and trust me, the things I'm learning in here, I feel like an absolute new piece of sludge because it's like, I'm doing what? I mean, like hip flicks, fl hip flicks to try and get me back up right or whatever. I have no idea what I'm, what I'm doing. And I'm finding it very uncomfortable because it's something that I don't know how to do. And part of my brain says, we should really stop doing this because we don't know how to do it. Let's just do something else. But I also understand that this is something I don't know how to do, so I have to learn. So if you know yourself that your problem is that you are not getting into this forwards rock quick enough, you've got a slouch 
crouched posture and you're coming into the front and you're like, this is wrong, but I don't know how to fix it, then the answer of how to fix it is to get to the, is to always start at the back and then think, oh, dinner table, I'm slouching again, hand straight, forwards rock, this is how it's meant to feel. This is the position I should be in when rowing. And then you can just keep on practicing that if you wish. You can be at the back of the stroke and then just do the hip rock, hands away, come forwards. Even if you're very robotic right now, just to make sure you're used to it, that you're getting the handle past your knees before you do your forward, sorry, before you bend your knees. So handle, rock, knees, okay? If you're all in a very robotic point of view, I don't care because you're practicing how to do it right now. It's only in real rowing, uh, or not real, <laughs> it's only when you're properly rowing that you want to then make that more fluid. So do you get what I mean? If you have to learn this, take time to learn this. Get to the back, handle away, forwards rock. Get to the back, think, am I slouching? Would I be shouted at for slouching at the dinner table? <laughs> okay, I will sit up nice, hands, let's reset, hands away, forwards rock. Great, that's better. Just keep doing that until you learn it and then start putting it into your rowing. So you come in, so you, Hands away, forwards rock, bend your knees, roll into the front, push with your legs while trying to hold that forwards tilt. And that's the next thing, is that people will often swing their back too quick. So what I want you to practice now is you get, the, get to the back, hands away, forwards rock, roll into the front, and then just connect, okay? Push your feet lightly into the machine at the same time the handle bites into the machine, whether it's a water rower, or a Concept2, an RP3, an Averon, whatever, you wanna push at the same time lightly, because lightly means you can hold that forwards tilt and straight arms, and then you can just roll straight into the front again, always holding this position, push, nothing's happening. The moment you push hard, you have to recoil back, and that's gonna undo it, and you're gonna have to reset and go forwards. But if you're just trying to teach yourself how to hold that forwards tilt, just push lightly, connect at the front, rock in and out. And then once you know you've got that biting point right, you can then push a little harder. But again, you have to hold this, your arms straight in the forwards tilt as you're doing this. And if you feel you've slumped, go, go to the back, dinner table, hands, forwards, into the front, push, okay? And then you can start working it into the stroke. Take it very slowly, roll into the front, Push, swing, pull. Am I at the dinner table? Yep. Release, forwards, in. All of this is about learning. So don't worry if you're jerky. I really want to say that. Don't worry. And then you finish by rowing smoothly. So hands away, rock forwards, knees bend. Hands away, rock forwards, knees bend. Okay? You're not lurching and rolling forwards. So that's the sequencing part that then you need to learn yourself. But I put both ends here, the mechanics, hopefully that's going to help, all right? Um, this did end up being a bit longer than I thought, but I'm hoping that's going to take you through it. Um, there we go. Let me know if this video helped. Of course, if you want to send me a video of you rowing, then do send it to info at rowalong.com and I'll be as polite and helpful as I can be about it because uh, I just like to help, all right? I will see you in a future video. Until then, please take care of yourselves. Be well. Bye-bye.